In this video, I will show you how to handle a TC35 GSM module properly and also how to send a SMS with it by the use of an Arduino Uno. Let's get started. First of all, this board is relatively cheap. I got mine for $23 from eBay. And I only found one that is even cheaper, with 18 bucks. But I went with this one because Siemens is a well-known company that produces pretty decent and functional stuff. The board around the module itself is, I think, Chinese. Those beautiful solar joints and this QDC jack just gives it away. On the back side, we also see that we need a SIM card. I recommend a simple prepaid card. You could put it in the board like this, but it makes things a bit easier later on if we firstly put it in a smartphone to remove the SIM lock. Afterwards, we can insert the card into the holder on the board and lock it in place. Now we need to power the board. We can use the DC jack or the VCC and ground pins on the board. Please, do not try other pins. I recommend 5 volts because the MAX232 I see here, which is necessary to communicate with the module through a RS232 port, is directly connected to VCC and ground. There is no voltage regulator for it. But the IC can only endure a maximum of 6 volts. So if you want to use 12 volts, which is possible because the module uses 3.3 volts from a voltage regulator, you would have to remove the MAX232 before powering it. And you also save some power if you remove it. That is why I recommend it if you don't use the RS232 port. The board draws around 6 mA in standby mode. But it's not ready for action yet. We have to press this button which starts the login process to the mobile network. When the status LED blinks shortly every 2-3 to three seconds, then you know that the module connected successfully. But this button itself is not practical if you want to automate something with a microcontroller. So I used my multimeter to find out that the left side of the switch is ground and the right side is connected to the module as an input. Whenever the right side connects to ground, the login process begins. I solved this by soldering a jumper wire to the right side of the switch, which connects to pin 10 of the Arduino Uno. Whenever this pin goes low, the login process starts. The board then draws around 13 mA while being in this state. Now, let's do a first test with a FTDI breakout. I connect TX to TXD0 and RX to RXD0. I know it is backwards because you usually connect transmit to receive and the other way around. But here they just messed up the labeling for the pins. And of course ground to ground. That way our signal has the same ground reference. Even though the TC35 uses 3.3V logic levels, it is compatible with the 5V signals of the FTDI and Arduino. Do not worry about that. I start the Arduino software, select the port of the FTDI chip and open the serial monitor. Baud rate is 9600 and carriage return is selected. The module uses simple AT commands to communicate. All of those are listed in the AT command reference. For example, if I type in AT, I get an OK. That means it works. Or I can get some other basic information like my network operator or the signal strength. Now let's move this to the Arduino. The wiring is super easy and I even made a small schematic for you. This sketch here showcased the method of sending SMS pretty good. I just open the serial monitor which pulls the startup switch low. Then I can enter my SMS and finish it with a dot at the end. Don't forget that dot. Now the program does all the work by itself and you receive the SMS on the smartphone with the number you entered in the code. You can change this number here. And no, this is not my real one. This format begins with the number 49 for Germany and then my usual number but without the zero at the beginning. 
Now you can of course adapt the code to fit your needs. You basically just need the function send text message. All the other stuff are just gimmicks. I will show you how I use this board to build an alarm system which notifies you via SMS in a future video. Until then, be sure to like, share and subscribe. You can find the sketch, schematic and links to the board in the video description. Stay creative and I will see you next time.